Hello YouTube, welcome to part two. Okay, we'll start out with this piece. This was one inch round stock, 12L14, so is this steel. Uh, we made, this is chucked in the lathe. We turned this down, this is our pin, which is about one and three quarters inches long. Then we took this piece, which is about 15 16 long. It will be 7 8 diameter. So we only have to take a 16th of an inch off it, if I'm correct, off each side. 1 8th of an inch off. Okay. We've got epoxy on here. Is that epoxy down there? We're going to stand that back up there so it stays that way. Okay. Now, what we did on this. We run a 3 8 bit through here, okay, all the way through. Now, if I measured that with a micrometer, it was like 37.372, 372 thousandths. 3 8 is 375 thousandths, if I'm correct. Look at my chart, don't make a mistake. That makes this a little smaller, so the pins are pretty snug in there. And if we have to, what we will do on one end of the pin is we'll put some punch marks on it to make it rough so when it drives in it sticks and we're going to try to drive it in this way this is going to be the side that it's drove into so it's easy to put something in there center punch and pound it down in there and we took a couple pictures and we'll have a few more pictures once this piece is turned and when we have at least one roller in This may be three parts, so we don't know how far we'll get on this part. Less talk, more work. That way we can show more of the finished product. Okay, we have this one turned. The epoxy bees on here. This was chucked in the lane. It gave us a shoulder because our pressure was going that way when we were turning. That was the idea. And then we will cut the piece off that we don't need. So that one's done. We have one more yet to do. We'll drive this out. This epoxy comes loose pretty easy. If it doesn't, I'll put some heat to it. The part that I don't need, I'll heat this if I have to. But it will break loose pretty easy though. So we'll get that apart and on to the next part. Okay, we're going to show how we drove that out. This is how we did it bark of wood with a hole in it. We put our center punch up here where we had our hole there for where it goes up against the tailstock and the lathe. Drove it out and didn't swallow it or nothing. It did break loose pretty easy. We can get focused here. That epoxy is not going to be that strong because it's on a slick surface. But it did take some hammering. Use my Trusty little homemade hammer I made. I don't know when I made this last summer. It's a handle off crescent wrench. It gives you a lot of nice heft to the ball peen hammer. Anyway, back to the subject. We're ready to clean this all up and do a test fit in there. Okay, excuse the lighting. Here's our first roller. We can get the focus here. Kind of the gray background, but we may get some cardboard over here so we can see better. Okay, there's our first roller. We got it to width. We just need to drive it in there. We're not going to use grease, we're going to use oil. We don't want grease there. Grease just gathers all kinds of stuff. I may or may not paint this, but this is going to be a test bit just to make sure everything fits in it. Okay. Okay, here's our first roller. I said, this side is smaller than 3 8 This was a little bigger than 3 8 This was exactly 3 8 pin. The 3 8 bit was like 3,000 smaller. We mentioned that somewhere off in the video. So. This side is smaller, so it has the same effect as what it had before without having a tapered pin. 
that's the same gap that was in there before play in there we can get this thing to hold still I should use the tripod but so we're just going to put oil on here there's not a lot of clearance on this that's how it's made it's a pretty tight fit let's back off here a little bit okay this concludes part two part three will be uh, a little bit of this wheel what we're going to do with it we're going to maybe see if we can buy a new cutter wheel somewhere so that's what part three will be with it together painted this should dry out pretty easy I'll put a center mark there it took a little bit of pounding but not too much I'll write try to write this down somewhere but if I had a part if I ever had to replace it I'm gonna remeasure it I'm gonna know what it is like that rollers 15 16 long 7 8 diameter 3 8 hole uh, the pin is like 1 and 3 quarter inches long there we go made that too long thanks for watching this part